Okay, so I really fancied making some pizza and I thought we could just do a little chat. Bake with me slash cook with me really because it's not baking. I mean, is it baking actually? I guess if it's bread, kind of. I just want to chat. It's coming up to the end of... <laughs> What's that? It's coming up to the end of January. It is in fact February now. But we've just passed January, so a new month. I've had some thoughts. <laughs> so in today's video, I just kind of want to chat, you know? And you can eat your dinner or whatever you're doing now. But you can just chat with me, vie with me as I make pizzas. So I've already made the pizza dough, but it is proving. So she now, well, she proved. And then I had to knock her. And now she's proving again. So I've got like 20 minutes until that comes out. But in the meantime, I want to make some toppings. Now, I won't lie to you. I don't know why I bought this, but I was feeling real lazy. For, so for the tomato sauce on the pizzas, I'm just going to use this tomato and herb sauce. I wish I had garlic in it, to be honest. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to heat that up and add some garlic. Because it doesn't taste, look, smell very garlicky, you know? And I do love a garlic. So I'm just going to put that in there and then let her, like... Reduce down a bit. Anyway, how are you doing? How is everyone? I feel like I need you to be higher up and I need you to be in a different situation, so. So for my toppings, I've got aubergine, which I appreciate is a bit rogue, but I have a cute idea, I have a cute idea for these. Mushrooms, standard, basil, and cheese. So like a vegetable margarita moment. While I chop some things up, Thought, let's chat with really okay. Let's talk about the infamous diet culture. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I feel like I'm quite lucky in my social media realm, if you will, that I have managed to avoid January diet culture energy this year. I don't know if it's because in general it's like kind of dying out because people are like becoming more aware of it, or I've just kind of so far away from that advertising that they're like, no, this this girl, keep away from her. Yes, yeah, so I'm like, I've been like really lucky to avoid it this year. This is this gonna be really annoying if I like start chopping? Okay. Is this real messy? Yeah, quite. Oh well. There are still some aspects of diet culture in general that kind of bother me in a sense. So diet culture is basically just the way one looks at food. It's from a very weight loss, thin ideal lens diet culture which means all of the advertising and stuff is targeted towards weight loss and they kind of see the whole health is smaller also important to know that health isn't really a currency of worth oh my god hello children <laughs> diet culture is basically i think warped how we view food it's only demonizing the bad foods it's also like over glamorizing the good foods almost so with me as someone who has a very healthy relationship with food you'll see me eat things like a pizza <laughs> but you'll also that just worked out really well see me have things like a diet coke if you would start to individually critique every aspect of thing that someone was eating you could look at the pizza alone and be like, oh, she's eating really unhealthily, and then look at the Diet Coke alone and being like, oh, well, she's trying to lose weight. And this is the issue. This is the issue I think we have because what we do is we overanalyze food decisions. One of someone's questions was to me was, how do you know that you're not restricting by picking like a Diet Coke or even like following a vegan diet or whatever? I just think the act of restriction is all mental you know that you're not restricting if you have a positive relationship with food and you don't feel restricted like if i for example if i really 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 wanted a full sugar coke and i was actively picking the diet coke because the other one made me feel bad then that is influenced by diet culture and that is influenced by these toxic thoughts However, if I pick up a Diet Coke because I wanted a Diet Coke and I don't feel like I'm craving a normal Coke, I don't, so therefore I don't feel that restriction, that's not influenced by diet culture, that's just simply a preference, you know? Basically, what I'm saying is diet culture has sucked the fun. <laughs> it's a fun sucker of food and it has just massively overcomplicated things. So I feel like we all need to chill. Well, no, we don't all need to chill. But diet culture in general, I don't know. 
like there's some pockets of the internet that can be really inspiring to some people and really toxic to other people an example could be someone in eating disorder recovery sort of like documenting their journey in recovery to some people that might be really toxic for them some people it may be really inspiring so it's about finding those people that are positive to you and not toxic this is where i've gone wrong like i one what i'm about to say i've definitely gone wrong and done in the past so this is not me slating off any single person for doing what i'm about to say because i did it but what you'll you'll see a lot of with say like the fitness industry people that have overcome disordered relationships with food what happens is they still put emphasis on their bodies as a way to document their recovery and not only does that then reinforce the fact that only certain body types can be unwell it also keeps them not hooked on that but keeps them in that mindset of like just focusing on your body and although I think, as I said, on some parts, I do think it can be motivating and inspiring for some people to see. It also can be really toxic for not only other people to see, but also the person creating the content. Does that make sense? Now, I wasn't in recovery when I started posting fitness things. However, I definitely did use my body as a an example of recovery which i now completely disagree with but alas four years ago i i was i was different i had different thought processes and i had a different knowledge on impacts of other people yada 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 i can't remember why i got there but yeah i don't know there's just a lot to unpack and there's a lot of thoughts just flying around in my head right now but side note i'm making hearts out of these aubergines and i think they're gonna be really cute look at these my plan here is to make my um, pizza a heart shape. So I'm, I'm really going down the heart theme because self-love candy. <laughs> Last time I did a bake with me, I, I baked a cake and I put a heart on it. So this week we're doing a heart shaped pizza because it's still self-love vibes. Get yourself a girl. <laughs> okay, I'm also, well, so this is the thing. This is like, this could be a general life update video, but because I'm now starting my this little glow up series, I wanna like save some things for different videos, you know? I'm like, I'm kind of creating like a bit of a structure with it and like topics to cover in those videos. So I don't wanna give you all the goods now, you know? I'll wait, I'll wait. No, I won't wait, I won't wait. <laughs> so it's the 2nd of February today and I started my, if you follow me on Instagram you will already know this, but I started my antidepressant medication three and a half weeks ago, so we're coming up to my month on that. Although I still have really bad days and I'm not completely healed, like don't get me wrong, maybe I'm just having a really good day today, but I do feel genuinely better. It doesn't feel as hard anymore. I feel like talking more nicely to myself and about myself, which I'm finding really important and like crucial which is really helping me like develop a healthy relationship with myself again. And I just feel generally on. Okay, I've even turned it around so you can see it. Fire of dreams, fire of places. My love, she sits. My love is waiting to set me free. Do you believe the healing things don't take us places? Part two, and now I'm pouring my love over her spine. And she's done. She's done. 
Look at them, look at them. Won't lie to you, I'm slightly concerned that they're not gonna come off the things. Ah! No, because these have literally turned out. Why are we so are we zoomed in? No, we're not even zoomed in. I just got to move away. These have turned out so well. I mean, you can tell they're defo heart. That's what matters. That one, I think that one's actually cute to keep and But you can see the little illusion hearts too. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's a bit too. Like, it's a bit too exciting. Actually, I think I need to calm the heck down. Whew, and I'm hot now. Whew. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, don't you care? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it, and non binary people, it is taste test time. Honestly, what day is it? This is what a Wednesday night is about. It's about wine. Like, I'm happy. <laughs> Which is the first time I think I've said that in a long time recently. Guys. Oh no! That's <laughs> all! No! Apart from the dramatic car thing. My dear friends, that is me done for today's video. I can't actually remember what I said, whether or not I've actually said anything at worth value, who knows, but I've had fun. We should do this more often, me and you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next week with another video. Bye, love you.